Hey there Sagittarius and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your reading. This is going to be your mid-month reading so it's going to be from December 15th through December 31st and we're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies for you. All right, Sag, the main energy that you're going to be dealing with this week is the Knight of Cups. You have emotions, sorry, not this week, for your mid-month reading. Um, you have emotions for someone. You have a lot of emotions. And I see you wanting to express how you feel and open up. Um, but for some reason, that's your challenge. So let's take a look. In the recent past, you get the Knight of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Emperor. You're seen here. You're the Knight of Wands to me as a reader. Gender doesn't matter in tarot. You're showing up, if I could pick up your card, um, you're showing up like you're holding on to something very, very, very tightly. Now, it could be one of two things. Either you're holding on to something which is very, very stable in your life. This could be another person or a connection. Or you are holding on to something in the sense that I'm not budging. I'm not moving from my position. Like, I know I'm right and either my way or the highway type of energy. We'll see what this is when we clarify in your current situation, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Tower. There's a connection here, a very, very powerful and intense connection, and you're showing up wanting to work on it. You're wanting to put in the work. Now, I feel like you kind of waited for the very last minute to take action because this connection is shown as crumbling. This connection is shown as falling apart. And I feel like you're finally like in the current situation, like, okay, okay, fine. I need to do the work because I don't want to lose whatever this is. So that's kind of the energy that I'm getting for you. But we'll see. In the near future, you get the Six of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. You may have two different people that you're dealing with here, or you could be the Queen of Wands, and the person you're dealing with is showing up as the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's shown as you um, moving away from this very cold, very closed off type of energy. So I'm not really sure what that's about, but you're definitely moving from something that is not that great into something that is way, way better. But let's take a look. I don't feel like you're leaving this person. I feel like it's just you're shifting through energies. But let's clarify. Let's take a look at this Knight of Wands in your recent past. Knight of Wands is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. You're slowly moving past an ending. I feel like something here came to an end. It needed to come to an end. Um, this ending was very, very painful for you, but I see you slowly moving past that and really focusing on your own happiness, your own stability, what brings you joy, what brings you a feeling of stability, grounded, like good energy. Um, but this is all coming about as a result of an ending, like something that ended here for you in the recent past. Let's take a look at this Four of Pentacles and see what you're holding on to. Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. You're not letting go of this person that you have feelings for. You're not letting go of this connection. You want clarity. You want things to happen your way, but you also want to make sure that you're very clear on the path that you want to take with this person. With the Wheel of Fortune, I see this energy changing. You're moving from an energy of being very closed off and very much like, I'm not budging, I'm not moving. They have to come to me if they want anything. You're moving from that very like rigid energy into... Okay, let's express how I feel. Let's tell this person how I feel. Let's open up. It's almost like you're moving from a very like closed off energy into a very open heart space energy, which is a beautiful shift. Um, was not expecting that, honestly. Let's take a look at the emperor in your recent past. The emperor is clarified by the two of wands, the five of wands, the seven of pentacles. I see somebody here. It could be an Aries that you're dealing with. I feel like this is somebody else's energy. It's almost like they're waiting for some conflict to get resolved. You and this person cannot see eye to eye about something. There's some disagreement or drama that, that keeps coming up between the two of you. And I see you taking a look at like, okay, maybe I can solve it this way. Maybe I can solve it that way. Is it even my job to solve this or is it this other person's job to solve it? Now, I see you, whoever this person is, you or your person, I don't see them taking any action. As they're evaluating and assessing whatever the problem is, they're, they're standing still. They're taking a time out. They're taking a breather. I don't see them taking any action towards you or towards this connection. But in the background, if this is your person and they went quiet or they, you know, 
kind of detached for a little bit, it's because they're trying to figure out how to resolve whatever the problem is between the two of you. Let's take a look at the Eight of Pentacles in the current situation. The Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Judgment, the Ten of Wands, and the Magician. Somebody here in the current situation is manifesting a resolution to whatever this problem is. They really, really want to resolve it. Like, they don't just want to deal with it a little bit. They don't just want to deal with it now. They want this completely resolved. So they're manifesting that. The problem is it's coming... It's, it's not coming easy to whoever this person is. They're having a really hard time connecting with themselves, connecting with their the inner part of themselves, their soul, and really figuring out how to resolve this. They definitely have the desire to make it work. They don't want to deal with this anymore, but they're having a really hard time figuring out how to do that, and they're having a hard time manifesting it. And when you're not super crystal clear on how you on what you want or how you want it to happen. It's very hard to manifest clearly and tell the universe what you want. So I can see this person in the current situation having a bit of a hard time bringing their manifestation into reality. Let's take a look at the lovers in the current situation. Lovers is clarified by the Hermit, the Eight of Wands, and the King of Swords. Okay, somebody here is they, they acknowledge that this connection is very intense. They feel the love. They feel the connection between you and them. The problem is they're not verbalizing it. This person is taking this connection. They're like, I feel the love. I feel the connection between Sag and I. And they're keeping it deep within themselves. It's like they're internalizing all the beautiful, loving emotions that they feel. But when they communicate with you or when you communicate with them, right, take the energies as they resonate, it comes off as very calculated, very cold, very closed off. It's like whoever this person is, the way they calc the way they communicate with you, it's almost like you're dealing with like a business transaction or something. And it's not that they don't feel the emotion. It's not that they don't feel this intense connection because I can see that they do. But whoever this person is, they take it and internalize it. They may have a tendency to internalize their feelings, internalize anything emotional, whether it's positive or negative. And when they communicate, it's very like straightforward like you know factual there, there's no feelings coming through but they have the feelings they just don't express them let's take a look at the tower in your current situation yeah. tower is clarified by the lovers which you just got the strength and the ten of cups it's hard it's hard for this person to let the feelings come to the surface sag i feel like this is you I feel like you're having a hard time letting the good feelings come out. It's like you, you're you afraid to feel them because you, you're the energy that's coming in, it's like if I let myself feel this, everything's going to go to shit. It's all going to come crumbling down. Like everything's going to collapse around me. Whereas if I don't feel the feelings and I don't allow emotions to play a role in this, even though these are great emotions, by the way, this is happiness, love, like there's nothing bad here. But you may be carrying a limiting belief or an internal belief that if you allow yourself to get invested in the emotions or feel the emotions, then everything's going to come crumbling down. Like it's not going to work out in your favor. It's not going to work out how you want to. Whereas if you show up as cool, calculated, and very logical, then you're safe. Then you're not going to get hurt. Then everything's not going to come crumbling down. And if it does, well, oh well, I wasn't emotionally invested anyway. And I do the air quotes because you are you're feeling all these things whether you internalize it or not whether you express it or not you still feel them let's take a look at the six of swords in your near future okay two more for the six of swords in the near future Six of Swords is clarified by the world, the Queen of Swords, which you get again in the near future, and the Three of Cups. There's a cycle closing out for you here, okay? I see you walking away from something. You're moving in a positive direction. You're moving towards a much calmer, much more grounded energy. But again, you want, you're approaching, this whole reading, basically, Sag, is about you or your person, but I feel like this is you approaching love from a very logical, closed-off perspective. It's like you're trying to... It's like it would it would be like if someone was like, oh, uh, Sag, describe what love feels like. Right. And you'd be like, well, your body temperature rises and your mind continuously races and you cannot stop thinking about this individual. There's no passion. There's no feelings. You're, you're describing it from a very cold place. And again, 
in the near future, you want a reconciliation with someone. You want to feel good and celebrate. Even if you're not broken up with this person, right? You want to be in this person's presence and just feel good. But the way you're approaching it, you're not letting the feelings come through. You're, you're approaching it from a logical perspective. What makes sense? What does logic dictate? Instead of like letting emotions come to the surface here. Let's take a look at the Queen of Wands in the near future. There you are. Finally, Sag. Queen of Wands is clarified by the Temperance, the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. In the near future, you're finally deciding to put the work in to make this connection feel good. Make it like, you know, if there was a problem, we resolved it. If there was an issue, we got over it. Like putting in the work in this connection. And it makes you feel good. Like when you put in the work with this person who you're very attracted to, by the way, you get a good feeling out of it because you're finally allowing some of the feelings to come through. Granted, it's more like the passion as opposed to the love that you're allowing yourself to feel. But still, better than completely going up into your head about it. Let's take a look at the Queen of Swords in your near future, closing out your reading. Queen of Swords is clarified by the Emperor, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords, you got tied up into your desire to reconcile or be with this person, but approaching it very logically. So in the near future with this Queen of Swords, um, you get the Emperor, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Swords. You got the Emperor, yeah, you got the Emperor in the same row in the recent past tied up to wanting to work on things or trying to evaluate how you can work on resolving this conflict. I see you in the near future, again, you go up into your head and you're logically approaching this problem. Um, but the good thing is, as you're working through this, you're also working through emotional pain that hasn't been processed from this relationship, from other relationships. There is some emotional pain that you're holding on to in the near future that you're slowly working through. You're leaving all of that behind and you're figuring out how to work on this problem. Now, again, you're not approaching this from an emotional perspective. You are approaching this, this how to resolve the problem from a very logical, closed off perspective, but it seems to be working out for you regardless. Because I feel like you open up a little bit, you're like, okay, I want to work on this, I want to work on this. And then once you start working on this, it's kind of like, you know, you get the ball rolling. Oh, man, somebody here needs to open up, though. I don't know who this is, you or your person, but somebody needs to get out of their head, man. Let's take a look at what the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week, Sag. All right, not this week. For your mid-month reading for the next two weeks. Okay. From the universe, you get the Two of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. This whole waiting period that you're going through, remember how I said in the recent past, you're waiting, you're trying to figure out how to resolve this. I don't see you really taking that much action. You're learning something as a result of that. So you're not just waiting in vain. There's a learning process going on for you here. But the way you're getting to this lesson, the way you're learning these things is by overthinking things. You take things up into your head and you logically mull them over and over and over and over. And you think that if you think about something long enough without letting emotions come into play, you'll figure out the solution. Again, I see you learning that this is not the best way to do things because in the near future, I do see you opening up emotionally, which is what gets the ball rolling. But in the recent past and the current situation, you have to go through this in order to get to the, the understanding that you can't be completely logical. You can't go all up in your head all the time. So, Sag, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it resonated, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you again for tuning in, and I will see you here for your reading next week. Bye, Sag.